And welcome back to part A of What If Naruto Was Adopted by Tsunade. So last time on Naruto What If, the tuning exams had begun. We had gotten through preliminaries, and now we are on the you know, ever-fabulous training montage. I'm the best around, and it's all going to keep me down. Uh, or, you know, Batman, and I just got on a bike and just has Naruto by him. Come on, move, move, move. So last time on the Naruto What If, uh... That's where we left off. So, we basically, uh, 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 Justin established, established that Tsunade was actually going to be one and trained Hinata. Uh, Sasuke still was taken under the wing of Kakashi, and Jiraiya, with some coaxing from uh, Tsunade, uh, was the one who was going to train, uh, uh, Naruto. So, focusing, and by the way, Kurt and I will still look under, uh, I'll still look over Sasuke, or Sasuke, Sakura's tutelage. As she sees her as a very good successor for Genjutsu. Or a very good uh, candidate for Genjutsu. So, once Hinata finally gets out of you know, the hospital and everything along those lines for the seal, Tsunade also reinforcing the seal with her own technique, uh, you know, her own knowledge of seals as well, they begin. And, you know, she quickly st starts to go over some of the bases of what they're going to do. Now, she basically looks at Hinata and says, Look, you've, uh, Kakashi, I, um, Kakashi's, uh, you know, uh, uh, trained you pretty well in terms of the. Uh, or, What's the best way she'd put it? Kakashi explained to me what you what he's gone uh, what he's uh excuse me, taught you so far when it comes to elemental chakra, you know, teamwork, everything along those lines everything along those lines. I'm being a lightning user myself, which as far as we can tell was actually maybe her main element, because we never actually see her you now the, I think it's implied like in novelization stuff about the other chakra elements she has, which is why I like the Naruto uh official uh, site um has that. But, uh, lightning, I think, is the one major one she had, because uh, she was able to turn her lightning, uh, her uh, chakra into electricity, hence why, you know, lightning. Um, and it's why it's, I think, the major one that's listed on her chakra elements, the top one. So, she says, we're going to continue on with your lightning chakra training, but I'm also going to teach you a few other, uh, a few other cute little techniques as well, uh, including, you know, showing up, boom, a little bit of this. It's like, well, you're going to teach me your strength thing? Yes, Naruto's, uh, Naruto uh, has taken a little bit of liking to the medical jutsu side of, uh, of my uh, tutelage. You, uh, you on the other and I may at one point teach him my strength technique as well, but I think it's important to pass on different traits in the, uh, to different people, as well as, you know, getting uh, teachings from more than one side of the, uh, more than one side of the gate. So, you know, those are going to be some of the big things she focuses on. Plus, with your gentle fist style, you know, even a tap with super strength would be enough to possibly put someone out of commission. Think about that real quick. With Tsunade, or Tsunade, well, with Tsunade teaching Hinata uh, the physical strength technique, uh, all she'd have to theoretically do, because all Tsunade had to do was flick Naruto's forehead, and he went flying. So imagine if you just tap real quick, poof, you could just break someone's body. So that would be the big things they'd fo be focusing on. Plus, uh, you know, Improving everything she already knows. Now with uh, Sasuke, nothing really changes with his uh, learning, except he probably is able to learn a couple more new techniques, um, increasing his speed, the Chidori, maybe even getting another lightning uh, technique off. The big thing is going to be with Naruto's train. Now, Jiraiya says like, "All right, kid, what exactly do you know so far?" Um, it's like, well, and then he shows up and doesn't hear, "Well, that's impressive." But I also noticed you seem to you had that diamond. Is this your mom? Did you uh, is this your mom's technique? He's like, well, it's and he kind of explains how well, yeah, it's kind of my mom's technique. But um, she really only um, she only ever imparted. She had never told me taught me how to release it. She said she said that she keeps drawing on some of my chakra, and that eventually, if it ever is released, um, I'll be able to um, you know use her uh, healing technique that she uses, but unfortunately, uh, she hasn't taught me the release for that yet. Um, so, ultimately, uh, he's like, so that's, I say, ah, it's alright then. No, well, don't worry, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna, uh, well, not worry, but what, how exactly would I put it? He's like, no, unfortunately, I can't teach you how to release that seal. That's gonna be something your mom's gonna have to show you. But uh, I definitely could teach you a bit more, uh, teach you a bit on um, what you already know. So, one big thing we're going to learn is, you know, this, boom, summoning jutsu, boom, it's like, whoa, yeah, mom summons the slugs, but yeah, oh, you got toads, those are cool, too, I was like, 
Yes, and he kind of explains how uh, I figured it'd be important for you to take a little bit from your lineage. My oh, my lineage? He's like, yes, your father, who, who my, your father was a student of mine. Uh, and I, I passed down what I knew to him in terms of, uh, in terms of the ways of the toad. He's like, wait, wait, you trained my dad's like, that's right. Now, again, Naruto probably knows a little bit about his dad. Like, I think Tsunade, after, like, the whole Fox incident, would let, uh, would, um, tell Naruto about who Minato was, at least a little bit. I think he knows very well that he can't tell anyone. And this Naruto is a bit more responsible for naming, but he's more responsible than his canon counterpart. So I think it's very likely that that secret would have been kept. Uh, but, you know, a few of them, a few people do know it. Kakashi, obviously, Tsunade, Jiraiya the third. Um, so they, de so, you know, he's like, oh, sweet. It's like, so sign here, sign blood, and then you know, try it out. And then, Samurai Jutsu! <laughs> tries it out. And, you know, I think this is before the whole Fox thing. Yeah, you know, he tries it first of all, and I think with just his normal chakra and better chakra control, I think he's able to manage, not Gamma, because Dryad already summoned Gamma, uh, but maybe, a sm not in, but Gamma Kichi, not Gamma Kichi either, I think maybe like a, a mid-level, like small dog-sized toad, it's like, oh, that's actually pretty good for your first dry kid, uh, we'll practice that for, uh, for the rest of the day, or for the first week, then for the remainder of the week, I want to, then for the next uh, two parts of the week, I want to try something else. And then, uh, you know, so they'll be practicing that. And he goes, all right, and we're going to be doing something else here. I'm sure you're aware. Your mother your mother already told me about this, but you're aware about your condition, right? And then Naruto has to think briefly. I want to remember my condition. And he goes, yeah, yeah, I, I know about it. And then, yeah. So I'm going to try to teach you how to tap into that. Of course, we're going to have to drain all your chakra. But to do that, we're going to do a lot of taijutsu. So he does the whole clone taijutsu chai jutsu thing to try to access the chakra um and again summoning jutsu but this time it just he brings out gamakichi instead uh, um or again better chakra control so you know he's got that going for him um but he still brings out gamakichi instead also he decide he does probably decide to teach naruto at least something with the wind techniques uh you seem to be pretty good with those with those chakra scuffles and your wind jutsu so we're going to we're gonna try this out. I was like, "What's this? It's like, you get things right up your alley, kid." Uh, I had to go. I had to go to the library to find it, seeing as there aren't many wind users in Konoha. But I think this should certainly be fine. It's like, well, he opens up the he opens up the uh, scroll and just reads it. It's like wind style tornado fist explosion. I brought it back. People keep asking me. Ever since I did it the first time, people always love. It's like he's gonna learn a tornado fist explosion. He's gonna learn. It's like most of the time, if I can get around to it. Probably, because <laughs> it's just a fun. Te it's just a technique that I don't. I never understood why you never cross over. It's like the perfect wind jutsu kind of technique for like melee fighter. It's like, uh, and so you know, he tries he, working it out. It takes a while, but he starts to get the hang of it. It's only about like a half a week left. Now, people were wondering if I was gonna have dry a teeth Naruto the Rasengan. In this version, I don't think so because I think this version I'm gonna make him a bit more. A bit more standard like the can where he was trying to teach him to control the fox chakra. That being said, he does have the summoning jutsu, it is improving his chakra control a little bit, and he's got the tornado fist, so he's got still a good arsenal on him. However, uh, that doesn't mean that uh, Naruto's, you know, completely out of the woods yet, so it's just, ah, tornado fist explosion, boom, and the you know, fires up, yeah, I got it, boom. Uh, so the kid, you know, the kid finally did it, uh, but he hasn't accessed the fox's chakra yet. <laughs> um, so he's thinking, he's like, I could. Here's the problem, though. He he was he's probably thinking eh, I could throw him off the cliff and get him to summon Bunta, but Sonate would probably kill me, or worse, make it so I will never be able to have any children of my own. <laughs> Um, and, yeah, that kind of does deter him from doing that a little bit. So, but he figures out another step instead, where he uses, a, like, a transformation technique to basically mask, uh, mask, uh, in him combined with a, uh, like, a, one of the large, uh, masks is like a monster, and instead he basically is able to, you know, summon the fox's chakra, just, uh, runs. but instead of summoning Bunte, he kind of actually go, goes into our, uh, more of a, would be the best term. Kind of a Dragon Ball Z-esque My Hero Academia, where instead she's like, 
Ah, where instead he just punches the toad, punches the transformed toad straight on with some fox enhanced chakra and just because ah, he's already tuckered out. And just boom, oh, and I'm gonna say it's gamma, uh, gamma, uh, gamma. What was it? Gamma ke, uh, Keken? Damn it! What's the name of that toad? Uh, the un, I'm ungraceful. Gamma, not gamma Kiji. Gamma, gamma Ken. Gamma Ken. Yep, gamma Ken. Uh, and that really is. It's gamma Ken. So yeah, it's like oh, I'm ungraceful. Uh, I lo I always liked it, but I'm I'm clumsy. And, but instead he just, and he crashes into the shield, which rocks back Gamma Ken, Gamma Ken, and then, and then, and then they transform back, breaks the transformation, uh, wait, dry? Bernie Sage, what, what's, what, why did you make of it, what was all that about, why did you, and then the chocolate fans say, yes, uh, oh, <laughs> uh, well, I guess that works, <laughs> So why don't I? Uh, I guess we should uh, get get you to you know get you to your mom. Uh, you know it's the end of the training session. Sonata you know well, dry. What'd you do? It's like don't worry. I I didn't do it. I think she briefly explains I didn't. Ah oh, well. I mean the other idea was to throw him off a cliff, but I assume you would kill me if I did that. <laughs> and no harm no foul. He's just tired. If you die to my son again, though, you'll wish I killed you. <laughs> and she just kind of and she's not and. Granted, she's hovering around his nads, just, and then one of mine's like, oh my god, I've always longed for this. But at the same time, <laughs> not quite like this. And she's just kind of like clutching her hand. She's like, and you'll know exactly what I'll do to you if you ever do something like that again. <laughs> uh, but then she also, afterwards, she just gives him a, and she, to be fair, I think enough time passes if they're in regular contact with each other again. Plus, they're much older at this point, so you're not getting any younger. Plus, we know Dry always loved her, and I think uh, deep down she cared for him too. And, you know, with Dan out of the way, you know, maybe you pursue a relationship. I think enough time passed, they probably get together again. But um, after a while, she just, you know, she takes the hand off his, you know, or away from this. He's not actually, she's not actually grabbing, she's hovering. But then she goes, boom, and just puts her hand on her shoulders like, and she just kind of gives a that actually soft smile. <laughs> the, like, thank you. <laughs> I was like, thank you for doing that for him, though. And then she walks out and then goes, <laughs> uh, I might still have a shot after all. <laughs> it's like, don't get, uh, yeah, yeah uh, place a request with the Make a Wish Foundation. Uh, so there is a chance. <laughs> all I gotta do is get an incurable disease. Right on. <laughs> so, few days pass, you know, it's like the day prior. So not, and you know, Sasuke's still gonna be late as usual. And Naruto meets up with the Hinata, and he's like, Hinata, how are you doing? I was like, I'm fine, thank you. He's like, you know, how's, the, how's the seal? And I was like, oh, between Kakashi and Sonata, yeah, the seal, seal, uh, won't, uh, seal shouldn't break. Uh, in fact, they think they may be, they might be able to find a way. Uh, and, and in fact, they even had uh, uh, Jiraiya look at it, uh, or Lord Jiraiya look at it a while ago. So they might, with the combined seal efforts of all of them, they might have a way to funnel the chakra into my system instead, but it's going to take some time. Uh, when there's no guarantee it will work. I'm not going to even try to really do a Hinata voice this time, just because someone pointed out my Hinata voice sucks. But what do you expect? I'm a grown man trying to do a very high-pitched feminine voice for a 13-year-old girl. So, yeah, pardon me if um, my female voice impressions don't quite live up the standard. Um, like, that's awesome. Uh, it's like, mm. it's like well, so what are you doing? I'm uh, just thinking, uh, we're, we're, we come so far, yeah, and, and you know... Uh, and, you know, I then, when I'm having the forced death, you know, I was afraid we we're going to, I was going to lose you. Oh, I'm sorry, Nard, I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, I mean, it's not your fault. You just, you, you, you pushed her away to save a friend. You know, that was really cool what you did. But made me realize I don't, I, I really, it really scared me to thought of actually losing you. It's like, mm. and she's blushing a little bit. And I want you to know, that, and I want you to know that you're, you're really important to me. You know, and she, yeah, he actually grabs her hand a little bit and just, yeah. It's like, mm. and she goes, Thank you. I'm saying this. It's like, you're important to me too, Naruto. And they're having the moment. Now, this isn't Naruto acknowledging he has feelings, per se. But this is him acknowledging that Hinata is a lot more important to him than he thought he was. One of his older friends, female friend, you spend enough time, things start to, you know, occur with you. And I think Naruto's kind of starting to realize that. It's like, and, and if we meet to, and if we meet in the ring, to, uh, by some chance we meet in the ring tomorrow, like we'll do our best. I want you to give me your best, and I'll give you my best. That's right. And, you know, they kind of do a fist bump. And then she kind of blushes as she's about to, so um, I, I guess I'll see you in a while. Like, all right, see you in a while. Oh, no, I don't what. And she works up that little bit of courage, gives him a quick little chest kiss on the cheek. Like, mm, I'll see you tomorrow. 
happened that she disappears and he's just, what, what, uh, what happened? Kiss, you know, the, the brain, not computer. <laughs> and they even dry, got dry his pipe and it's like, oh, so, uh, so you do got a little squeak aside of action, huh? That's, uh, to be young. Uh, <laughs> oh, this would make a great story. <laughs> So, anyway, you cut to the actual tournament. And remember, this isn't Hinata versus Naruto, because I also I was able to bring Sakura into the finals as well. That does change things up a little bit. So, I decided to, remember, have Hinata and Sakura duke it out. I think I'm going to have them duke it out right before Tamari and Tsukamaru. Uh, but it's still Naruto first with Dosu. And, yeah, he does remember a little bit of what these guys can do what this guy can do, that it's, um, sound-based. So, basically, he came prepared. He's like, begin! And then he's like, oh, ready to go, ready to die, Brett. I'll get to face Sasuke after this. He's like, man, he narts just like, hmm. He's like, hmm, and he, you know, swings and narts just, boom, and then, uh, you know, he blocks. And does like, you, you should, I thought you would have learned from our first encounter. And from, uh, from the exam, so just hitting me makes the sound even stronger. Bring in the jars, like, hmm? And just, put, it's like, full time, get up, and boom, oh, boom. Smacks them against the wall. Does what does get out, just like, oh, what? How dare you, what, how, why isn't it working? And just, ding, he blink, clings them all, just, mm, and like, hmm. Then comes in again, this time he's got, um, chakra blades going, and, uh, he's like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna get you, shut up, Claude Jutsu, and then, Use chocolate to basically slice the gauntlets in half without hitting his hands. That's not that hard to do when you really think about it. Just basically crams them in and splits them and just boom runs it. Ah! And then, oh, what? I, how? How did you? How did you do that? And then it finally was like, I'm sorry. What were you saying? <laughs> it's like what? What? And say, yeah, I knew you manipulated sounds, but I can't prepare it. <laughs> but now those are gone. Boom! And just smacks right into dose and just. Gale Futon! Uh, Futon Pop Thrust! Boof! Basically, it's just Gale Palm straight into the... Boof, and then Dosu just goes out. Here's the thing. Dosu was actually a pretty skilled guy. But it, it, he's a guy I actually would have liked to have seen live. To just see a, a bit more of it. But unfortunately, it's one of those things that he just um, didn't... Uh, he, he couldn't uh, cut it, ultimately. Uh, just because they were... Ultimately, it meant for father. So, uh, yeah, sad but true. And he, I mean, he actually had some good taijutsu skills too. Um, man, he, yeah, they, they, yeah. Um, so he was actually a pretty capable guy. But ultimately, when you get someone who could just counter that technique by simply just you know using eardrums, there you go. Uh, so then you skip. You have to skip Gar and Sasuke's. Conqueror also, you know, forfeits as well. But then you get into Hinata versus Sakura. Now, the question... I don't think it's ever been truly stated if the Byakugan can see through Genjutsu. I don't think... Because it doesn't have the, like, the clarity perception, like, um, the ability to comprehend and see like the Sharingan does. But that's not to say it wouldn't have some effect on a Genjutsu. Like, I don't think... it couldn't. You can't just see, see a Genjutsu for what it is and just counteract it with the Byakugan like the Sharingan can. But I think you could at least perceive a Dojutsu or a dojutsu, a uh, genjutsu, and at least have an idea of what's going on. It doesn't mean the genjutsu stops. If you let it up on the Sharingan, it will uh, it will stop it on its own right. Uh, it will, or the, the genjutsu will continue to kick back in. But you can probably perceive, like, where, if, if like, the whole, ba like, surrounding changes, and you can't see the person, like, the Byakuen, I think, would still be able to see where the person is. But this doesn't mean the genjutsu is not going on. So, Hinata and Sakura are prepared to, uh, you know, preparing to, you know, fight, and it's like, I hope you, I, I hope you're ready, Sakura, hmm, no, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do it, let's do our best, you know, hmm, so they're ready to go, and immediately, um, Sakura knows that, um, uh, she's gonna be on disadvantage in terms of close quarter combat, however, one thing that has shown up, uh, one thing that she immediately displays, as Hinata comes in, is like, like, lightning cell, pow, 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 lightning, and she dot she, you know, Sakura dodges, just whoosh, throws something at Hinata, which she quickly has to ding, 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 and even grabs is like, stand by it's like, wait, wait, and then she, unfortunately, realizing this too quick, gets one, and it's like, 
Yeah, and it's like, uh, and it's like, wait, Senbon? Where did Sakura learn that? And he not, and Kurin is like, oh yeah, we called a little, uh, we called for someone else because uh, while Sakura's Genjutsu skills are very impressive, she actually is quite the prodigy with it. Her fi uh, other abilities were lacking, and she didn't have any other techniques. And then someone else pops in, yeah, that's why they called me in for a little bit of help for training. To which Haku shows up, it's like, yeah, did you forget Haku was in this story? Because here's Haku. It's like, oh, Haku. It's like, wait, so you taught her? Yes, I did. Uh, uh, yes, I actually, uh, uh, um, uh, I, uh, brought it, I, uh, they called me in to help Sakura to round her out a little bit. Uh, plus, I also taught her a little bit, uh, I also taught her something else as well, but, give me one second, I need to check something real quick when it comes to Sakura. Uh, oh, ah, that's perfect. Um, because I wanted to check her chakra natures. Apparently she had both yin-yang, thanks to the Curse of Sunai's training, but she also had, um, earth and water, which means... Uh, Sakura also suddenly pulls out. Uh, water style! Uh, uh, surging torrent! I think that's the name of it. Basically just the one where you blast the water. <laughs> like, when uh, Sakura, uh, Hina's being the guy. Uh, uh, lightning style! Zoom. Static palm! And basically channeling her uh, cho lightning chakra. Shocks the water, which uh, Sakura's got to get out of there immediately. It's just... <laughs> As, uh, as, uh, Sakura's qu gotten quite good. And then, you know, immediately a bunch of Sakura's appear. Not a clone jutsu, but something similar. All the, like, all of a sudden they morph into, like, monstrous things that come attacking at her. It's like, this, this is Genjutsu. Okay! Mm. Uh, but she quickly just, you know, breaks the Genjutsu. It's like, oh, the level of Genju like that isn't going to work. Hinata, who's still got her Byakugan on. And unfortunately, could still see Sakura's chakra points. So that, at that point, she just, you know, mm and it's like, Futon? Or not Futon. Uh, what was it? Katan? Rayton. Rayton style. Lightning pulse! And then basically, um, you know, channeling your lightning in there, she basically kind of like does this quick little boom, like a, just like a pulse wave of electricity. And Sakura just boom, ah, 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 and, and she's being shocked, but there's one more thing she can do. And just, ah, 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 water style! Water pressing! Boom! Got you, Inara. You better get, give up now, or you're also you're gonna drown it. You're gonna pass out from a uh, lack of oxygen. Woo! And unfortunately, Sakura got a little ahead of herself in that, and she, she Hinata even's like, what? It's like, oh crap! And then shocks and shocks both of them. Just, ah! Unfortunately, that also does one other thing, and it dispels the other Genjus that the Sakura had. had. Granted, Sakura was still kind of there because she had to do that. Um, but at the same time, she had a multi she had multi layered the Genjutsu on top of each other. So now they're both kind of like, uh, uh, uh. now at this point, Hinata does feel a little bit of the boo boo, but she immediately forces back down. Like, no, I will not rely on that. Not until it's ready to be relied on. And so basically, you know, they uh, kind of just yeah, char uh, charge in one more time. And, you know, Hinata ducks in, just boom, is able to hit uh, Sakura's legs. Just, ah, boom. It's like, got you, Sakura. And Sakura's like, ugh, I give up. Like, ugh. It's like, thank goodness. So that ends that. Everyone's happy. Yeah, and then Tamari Shikamaru thing goes down completely as it does. And then the Gara versus Sasuke fight happens. And that actually pretty much would go the same way. Minus the fact that Gar, uh, Sasuke does know a couple extra lightning uh, ch uh, jutsus. Uh, but the pale palm probably wouldn't, uh, or the pale lightning wouldn't pierce that sandum like the Chidori would. So ultimately, that's where it's going to end up because then the sound uh, starts to sound and sounds start to invade. Unfortunately, you also have Tsunade there. Um, and you know the big difference here is that she crashes right through a bunch of enemy shinobi to get on top of the uh, Hokage monument with the third. So it is Tsunade and the third. Dry unfortunately can't get in there in time. Versus Orochimaru, and then he summons the third and second Hokage. So then you have Hokage level combat. Uh, so we're gonna, but we're gonna save that for later. And then the part eight right here. So that's part eight of What If Tsunade Adopted Naruto. I know I was a little uh, shaky in the beginning, but I had to kind of formulate where I was going. Uh, until then, though, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As well as you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know the review of it at some point. I use Rude Win Star Wars Super Magic. What if anything I do on the channel? Put that in the comments below as well. I'll get to that at some point as well. Uh, so I got one more what if, and I'll be done for the day. So thanks for watching. Later, folks.